What is happening people? We welcome you to the Gano Art Family. It is time for evolution. And so, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how I uh, do some of uh, my, uh, my character descriptions, how I work on my character descriptions and whatnot. And so before we start, I'd like to thank you guys for uh, for uh, um, taking a look at the one shot that I made for, for the contest. And uh, and yeah, that, that that's cool. Thank you guys. And uh, and also with the one shot that that I had, that I had planned, um, that that one shot that you see is not. I, w I want to consider it like you know, a one hundred percent official, but it was something that I wanted to do because I saw the contest coming up, and at the same time, I wanted to to see if I could just kind of get some feedback from the professionals there, you know. But you know, my main intention may be to uh to to uh to make it you know serial uh serialize it here in uh in you know a, a western format from like the way the you know the english people read it you know the western western world world reader from left to right but the other uh, the, the way they were, the way i sent it was like right to left their their manga format and so yeah and most likely i also like learn learned a few things from it as well so you know with the one shot i may the the, the content that you see on the, on the one shot may be spread into like uh chapter two and three in a in in the future uh chapter one may be something completely different that you guys have never uh, read before it may be pertaining it may be like focused mainly on cause and summers for chapter one and it may may have a uh, some action scenes in there but we'll just focus on like the growth of cause and summers and and a bit of the world before i get into like the 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 extremes so i may the content that you see on on the one shot for chat for 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 the one shot that i submitted will be uh, kind of i think I, I plan on spreading it to chapter two and three you know but you know a every anything is subject to change you know anything is subject to change so 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 yeah so let's get started with this and so you know, th these are some really fun ways you can uh, kind of uh, get to know your characters. So right here, I just have a folder of of a bunch of a bunch of characters of mine from different arcs, from different uh, islands. So there are five islands in in Oska. and also the, right here where you see global, that's like uh, outside. That's like not inside the country that that it's taking place. It's taking place globally. You know, so I, I just have like a set of, uh, you know, main people, main arc villains or main arc people that will be addressed in like certain islands that I have listed here. And so for character descriptions, I mean, you can see how I have have like interviews set for each and every one of them. And so the interviews can last for like a, the, the interviews are like, I, I guess, 50, 50 or 40. 40 or 50 or so uh, questions sometimes it could be more um but i just saw uh, i got the the interview from somewhere online and i just decided to like interview my characters with those questions and so this is the interview uh question for avax i mean yeah these are this is the interview questions for avax right and so right here this you can you can see how how like how much detail it, how detailed it can get um it, 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 these questions came from online. I just decided to apply them here, and you know, just make Avax answer the questions. Like get into his, get into like my the character's mind state and how the character would react. You know, become one with that character you know, as that character you know answers the question. You know, so we, we have like basics here for the first section. We have the past, what the character's past was like. And we have uh, beliefs and opinions, um, relationships with others, you know, etc. You can you can add and you can subtract questions. I know I added a few questions from from what I found online, and I applied them here. So you can add and subtract questions if you wish, you know. And I think this will give you a well detailed understanding as to as to what your character is is like you know how your character reacts how your character reacts to certain uh, certain uh, things that happen to him will make the storytelling process a lot easier you know and this is essentially a blueprint 
you know and so you can see like right up here you can see how i even uh applied zodiac signs to it zodiac signs are a good a good uh, a good blueprint for your characters if you if you like understand them you know there's like uh there are, there are water elements there are air elements there are earth elements and there are fire elements <clears throat> and each element has like three different uh, signs to them so you know if, if you're into if you're into zodiac signs <clears throat> you can also apply that you know so right here the, i gave avax like a taurus sign uh his moon is in leo his rising is in pisces and most people know about their sun sign but there are also signs that are associated with like you know all the other planets that you got so there's sun there's the moon sign uh there's there, there are mars signs there there are jupiter signs for each individual person as well so it's not just the the sun sign where where, where uh where most people are what most people are familiar with you know but uh yeah it gets into detail but you can also i guess look it up online go on google look up all the different characteristics of each sign and look up like the combinations of how a sun uh, how a sun taurus and a moon with a moon leo would would kind of react or a taurus with a capricorn moon or you know etc it's, it's just different mixing and, and combinations you can get fun with it you also don't have to like stick to to like a, a certain uh you know you don't have to stick to a certain blueprint you can you can break out of certain things if you wish to you know but this is again this is just a this is just a guide you know the star sign thing is essentially just a guide a reminder at least for me this is what i use personally and so i tend to just do the questions first before i do the star signs but yeah the questions can really help help you to understand the character it can help us to understand the character you know and and even when i <clears throat> even when i started doing these interviews like you know this month is when i actually start doing interviews of all these characters in in oscar you know all these uh interviews from different of the, the main characters all these characters i started to like understand them more you know i started to discover things that i didn't know like i didn't know that about you that was shocking you know things just flowed you know things just flowed and like i started just knowing more about the story i started to connect the dots in in the in this whole web web of uh of story so to say yeah i started to disconnect the dots of everything what the, the more i started questioning these characters started filling in holes that i couldn't think about filling you know because the more i questioned the character each of these main characters the more the gaps started to to you know to, to close like i could i could see i could i could see the web i could see how they were all connected you know so <clears throat> So yeah, questioning the character is uh is, is very great. It's, it's a great way, you know. And so these are the interviews. You know, these are a list of interviews that I have for like certain characters, certain like uh, sort of the main characters that will appear in Oscar. And so you know, Oscar is, is is essentially a planet. You know, it's a planet, and the the story is taking place inside the Beastman Kingdom. You know, which is predominantly uh dominated by the, the beastman race you know so this is where the, the main story is like taking place and these are some of the like the main character arcs uh, no, no, not the main character the, the 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 main character groups yeah that will appear in certain arcs or certain islands that the characters visit so so yeah and sometimes uh sometimes i'm thinking about characters that are that are outside of oska you know that are not within the kingdom you know that yeah that are not inside again them so yeah so i think like interviewing your characters is, is a great way to get to understand your characters you know so even even there, there was a point in uh, in in oscar or like the storytelling process that i just i felt like maybe i should change my main character to avax you know but then as i started doing more questioning and i started you know questioning the characters I started discovering, you know, new things that I didn't know before, you know, new goals that I didn't know. Before. And so for Kaz, one of the main issues I was having as I was writing the story, Kaz, the main character, I uh, was, he had a goal. He wanted to explore Oska, but he didn't have a goal that would like be life changing. That will, you know, make things better or, 
he, he didn't have a goal that would like aid in, in in masses or the collective of the people you know so like he, he wanted he wanted to he wanted to explore and he was also living in a dictatorship area so he couldn't really explore much but but at the same time how was how was Ka supposed to like uh what's the what's the big how is he going to revolutionize people you know what did what does he want to do so he wants to explore the world how, how can you add add exploration so so one thing i one thing i thought about you know while asking the, the questions while i was questioning cause you know was map he wants to create the first world map of oska you know and oska is a planet so he wants to create the first world map of oska and he cannot do that because of this uh this this area this area that he's that he's in and so the, the story is titled oska right so yeah the story is titled oska it's it's about the planet that's that it's taking place in, right and so the, the story is titled oska the main character's goal should also align with the title of the story he wants he, he wants to create the first world map of oska you know because there are some inaccuracies in there and also you know they're they're not really allowed to you know that there's something <clears throat> due to the way the planet is uh they're not uh, there's no uh there's no way to send in technology to outer space because it gets blocked so because of the ring that surrounds it but you know that, that's that's going into detail even even detail about the planet you know and so when all the dots are connected i'll definitely be ready to go uh, all in on oscar you know expecting like nine ch nine nine chapters in a year depending on how much time i have you know so so yeah it'll be sometime in the future but that time is coming uh, I feel it. I feel it coming really close, you know. But yeah, uh, stay tuned. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Uh, and yeah, peace.